Hey everyone, it's Wade Color, and today we're making chocolate and hazelnut semi freddo. This is one of my favorite Italian desserts. It has a texture of frozen creamy mousse with irresistible Nutella swirls and a crunchy crust that provides a nice textural contrast. This is a perfect make ahead dinner dessert that everyone will rave about it. So let's get started. We're gonna start with 6 egg yolks, 3 4 cup of sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Place everything in a heatproof bowl and set the bowl over a double boiler. Using a whisk or an electric mixer, beat for about 10 minutes until the mixture is thick and pale. Once ready, remove from heat and set aside to cool. In a separate large bowl, whip 2 cups of heavy cream until it is stiff. Transfer the egg mixture into the bowl with the whipped cream and fold it in until well combined. Pour half the mix into a 20 cm loaf pan. Now, most of the recipes call to line the loaf pan with cling film so it will be easy to remove. I don't like that the film creates a wrinkled texture on the semi freddo, so I pour the batter directly into the mold to create a smooth texture and use my technique that I will show you later to extract the cake easily out of the mold. Now, spoon one cup of Nutella down the center and pour the rest of the semi freddo batter over the top and using a spoon swirl through the Nutella and smooth the top. Cover with cling film and place in the freezer for about half an hour, just enough time for it to set so that our crust won't sink. In the meantime, we'll prepare the crust. In a food processor, blend 3 4 cup of toasted hazelnut with 250 grams of digestive biscuits until finally ground. Add 100 grams of melted butter and pulse until the crumbs are nicely moistened with the butter. Take the semi freddo out of the freezer and spread the crust evenly over the top and gently press it until it is compact. Cover with cling film and place in the freezer for a minimum of 6 hours. Now to extract the semi freddo easily out of the pan, simply turn the loaf pan onto a serving plate and heat it with the hair dryer for a few seconds and that's it. Drizzle the top with some more Nutella to your liking and it's ready to enjoy! I hope you guys love this video and if you did, 
Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.